What's up, everybody? I'm Paul. And I'm Pete. And we are the Scotch Brothers. Hey. All right. So we have a treat here. We have the Dalmore 15. <laughs> okay. So the Dalmore 15, we have some mixed reviews on in the past. And we're going to talk about it. We got this brand new lovely box here. We're going to pop yes. open. This is Highland. It's Highland area. So it's 15 years. Highland single malt scotch. All right. And... Oh, what is this? What the hell happened to that bottle? <laughs> you, I believe you. I blame you. You drink all that? Yes. Oh, my goodness. All right, so it's not actually a bottle crack. No, no, no yes. it's definitely not a bottle crack. We've, We've had this for quite some time, but wanted to do a review on it um, because it is, yeah, it's almost gone. So we better do a review on it now because it's not going to last very much longer. Indeed. That is for So sure. what can you tell me about the Dalmore, man? Well, I can tell you what's on the box here, that's <laughs> right. for sure. Because, listen, uh, the main notes that I get out of this are wood. However, what it says is the aroma is orange marmalade, cinnamon, and nutmeg. That's on the nose. On the palate, you've got mandarin, vanilla, ginger, and crushed apples. And finishing note is caramelized orange and rich dark chocolate. So, as always, we are going to... There it is. As always, we are going to try this neat give you our review on it neat and then we're going to throw at least one or two ice cubes in it and go from there the last time i drank this neat we were in arizona yes and we were very drunk and our cousin shout out to you ron poured you about <laughs> that much of it. yes indeed and it was a bit much but you know I, <laughs> he I, looked at me he looked at me that night i was like bro i i can't i can't finish this you have to finish this for me and i was like Damn, and so I had drank mine down to like here, and I gave him mine and took his <laughs> to drink. Now it's not because he he was he was pussing out. He had drank everything on the menu that day. It was at our, our uncle's memorial. Yeah. He had drank tequila, he had drank vodka, he drank beer, he had drank gin, he drank wine. <laughs> <laughs> I had only had gin earlier, oh, shit. and so I took it upon myself to take, one for the <laughs> to take one for the team and to, uh, yeah, to take his his drink and to drink it so he didn't feel so bad for wasting a, like, literally a 10-ounce pour of scotch. Not so. to mention that uh, I had been up for 43 hours. Yes, <laughs> that is very true. Yes. That is very true. Anyways, enough of the history. Yes, well, let's let's give a nose Down to it. Let's yeah. give a nose to it. Oh, I can taste the or I can smell the oranges. <laughs> yeah, taste it through my yeah, nose. Actually, I can definitely smell the oranges. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of that nail polish, but not too much. No, I don't smell that. You, you can't get the alcohol. Maybe your your uh, nose blind to alcohol. No, I'm getting I'm getting cinnamon for sure. Yeah, it, it tickles the nose. All right, let's give him a taste. Nutmeg. I'm not tasting that. Slotch. Slotch. You know. I actually like it much better than me. Yes, I lie. Okay, so here's the deal. We we drank this whole bottle, and we were always ice, 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 ice the whole time. Yeah. We haven't really gave, given it a, a, an honest review neat until right now. I'm tasting vanilla. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm tasting a little bit of ginger on it. Ginger? Wow. I know. That's, that's what it said. Okay. Well, that, no, yeah. I thought you pulled that out of your ass. No, 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 I read it, but that's why I'm tasting it. You know, I probably wouldn't have been able to pick out that flavor. Right. But now that I saw it, I'm like, actually, yes. There's a taste in there I can't describe. Apple. No? Not apple? Maybe, maybe red apple? Yeah. 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 Okay. But... I was always like, the Dalmore is the Woodmore. I mean, that's what I would say. It was just Woodmore. So much that's wood. what he would call it. Woodmore. Yeah, the Woodmore. Yes. But I'm not really getting that neat. So I'm tasting dark chocolate on the finish yeah. for sure. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Instead of the wood. Is that all about? Dark chocolate. Is dark chocolate on the It is. It is. <laughs> it is. I read it earlier, so okay. it was probably okay. still in my yes. mind, uh, okay. to be honest. It was probably still in my mind. I'm not that sophisticated. I'm like, yes, of course. No, I, was like, like, right I was impressed for a second. They're like, oh, well, shit. Well, be impressed, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> just one, just one, just one, just one. Just one. Right. We can do it. One cube, single cube. Yeah, single cube, right. bro. We don't need more than that. Okay. So let's give another nose test with it opened up with the water. Just swirl around with it, let it open. Yeah. Oh, it mutes everything. It doesn't. Yeah, it's just diminished. I'm still, I'm still smelling oranges for sure, dude. I mean, that's like, that's like one of the main, which is crazy. Yeah, because we have, I don't know, it doesn't age in the bottle. It's the exact same whiskey no, that it was uh, before. Yeah, we've had, we had this bottle for a couple months. All right, we go. There's the wood. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. So it opens oak. up and that oak just comes yeah. straight out with the ice. Yeah, absolutely. So if you really like oak in your, in your drams, then a little bit of water, a little bit of ice is going to open yeah. that up for you. Uh -huh. Other than that, it's a lot, lot uh, sweeter. Yeah. I, I definitely taste the dark chocolate on the finish. I mean, that's coming through. That's powering through. Yeah. This, which is really good. Yeah. To be honest. Absolutely. Uh, this bottle of 15 is 129 bucks. Uh, now for 15, when you're talking about the Glen Livet, you're looking at a bottle of 15 for about 80 bucks. Right. This is $130. That's, you know, that's $50 more. more. And I think it's all in this silver uh, stag in the front. Well, yeah, they, they do a really great job with marketing, I think, which allows them to, to kind of kick up the price. Uh, the value for the price I'm not seeing the value from $80 to $130. Not no, with $40. Not with all of the scotches that we've tasted. Yeah. Are, yeah, definitely. I mean, if you if you want to splurge a little bit and have something different, you want to feel like a little more sophisticated, you want to buy more for your, you want to buy a, a more expensive bottle, uh, you could try it. But, you know, I'm not really seeing the need. No, I would, that. I would agree with that 100%. So let's give the Dalmore 15 a rating. Let's do it. So, okay. neat. What would you give it? Well, you see, my mind's going to be a little skewed because for the price, I'm going to have to give this an 88. Ooh, I would give it a 90. Okay. I'm, I would give it a 90. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ding them a little, two points on there because of the fact that it's 130 bucks and it's only 40 ABV. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hear you. I hear you there. For, for a $130 bottle, 40 ABV, come on. I like I like the flavor neat. Yeah. I like it a lot more yeah. than I like it. Bruised it should come with water. Yeah. So let's what do you give it bruised? 86. I give it an 86. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we'll say 89 neat yeah. and we'll say 86 bruised. I'm cool with that. Please remember to like, comment, share this with your friends. We're here, we're doing this for you guys. We'd love to hear from you. Comment on if you've tried this before, what you think of it. If there's any other scotches you'd like us to try, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love for you to join us as we continue this journey of drinking scotches, getting shitty, and just being the Scotch Brothers. Absolutely. So to that, cheers, my man. Cheers. Peace, guys. Later.